So now we go into settings. Um, here's where we adjust that reliability. So if I go all the way to the right, that's max reliability. I'm only going to get the NOAA sightings, the most reliable sightings. Uh, as I said before, that's, you know, you're going to get the most reliable, but it's also going to be uh, the slowest because NOAA reports sometimes can, can take a while. Um, if you adjust your reliability too low, you know, you're going to get a lot of false reports. Um, there's usually not that many. Um, maybe a couple times a month are, are blatantly false. Um, but usually, you know, somewhere in the middle, you know, maybe 25% uh, is a good place to be. That way all your false sightings will be filtered out for you. And so uh, you can set up your email address um, and you can also turn on or off uh, hell alerts or tornado alerts, um, it, whether or not you want to receive them. And then once you do this, you have to hit save. If you don't hit save, it, it, the server is not going to know your email address or, or your uh, currently saved setting. So it says I was successful. I'm going to go back. So now I have everything set up, you know. Um, so I know how to how to find you know current current sightings, past sightings. Uh, got my settings. So um, another feature of Storm Spy uh, is that you can have you can view the current radar loop. Uh, Tornado Spy and Hell Spy don't uh, have that feature. This is only a Storm Spy a Storm Spy feature. So we got our current radar loop. You can kind of go around there, see something's happening on the uh, the east coast. That's that line of storms that caused problems in uh, Louisiana today. And that's animated radar loop. Uh, you also go to the warning map. You can see uh, county by county warnings. Uh, don't really have any tornado warnings. Uh, anymore. I think those all expired today. Um, then we can look at the 24-hour US, U.S. outlook. Um, so you're going to see a map here of the U.S. Usually, you know, this is a forecast of what's going to happen within the next 24 hours if uh, uh, there's going to be tornadoes or, or hill and um, this is a 5% zone right here, this brown zone. Then you have a 2% zone. Then as we get into tornado season, you're going to see like those uh, probabilities increase. It's, it's pretty interesting to see this. Uh, you can kind of tell what's going to go on the next day. And then you can also see uh, the hell forecast. And those usually, you know, are kind of around the tornado forecast, you know, the same same locations. We can go to the two-day U.S. outlook, and you kind of have the same setup here, uh, except uh, in this case, the the hail and the tornado forecasts are both combined. So there's going to be some uh, some bad weather over here within the next two days up to the right of that line. And this map is kind of showing the same same thing. It's a uh, it's another outlook, another probabilistic uh, forecast. So we'll go back, um, look at the help. Um, if you have any problems, just uh, reference this. Uh, this has some good info. Um, or you can uh, email me, um, um, either justintimeapps at uh, gmail.com or alerts at justintimeapps.com will work too. Um, well, uh, thank you for listening. I hope uh, you found this useful. Thank you.